Hurricane Maria, leaving behind miles and miles of damage to homes and crops in Puerto Rico. But what it's also left in damages are big hits to pharmaceutical companies like Baxter and Pfizer that were manufacturing supplies. When you have a removal of any source of materials in the market, it puts pressure on all of the other companies as well because people try to obtain supplies from wherever they can and they cannot keep up with the market supply. Now hospitals all around the country, even here in the basin, are stocked a little short. Your biggest concern is that they don't resume production in time for you to be able to replenish your stockpile before it becomes critical. Midland Memorial, Odessa Regional Medical Center and Medical Center Hospital are on the list of facilities that currently have a shortage of small volume supplies and the smaller bags of IV fluid are used the most. With limited supplies coming in, they've had to find alternative solutions. Fortunately, Medical Center Hospital doesn't need to make any major changes due to the shortage. One solution was to put the IV from the big bags to the smaller bags, but that would have resulted in them running out of 50 and 100 milliliter bags. So the best way to give the IV fluid is through a syringe, which they say has been a faster process. At first, we thought it was going to be harder, but as we started working with it, it's a little bit easier because we do have patients that are on two, three, four, five antibiotics. There's no telling when production is expected to pick up again, so for now, syringe pumps will compensate for the shortage while still giving patients the care they need. Jolina Okazaki, News West 9.